hey, I want to share my little altar with you. So here's how it works. It's in the southwest part of the room, which represents universal support and helpful people. According to Vastu Shastra, I'll come back to this. And the elements on this altar, and you can see how they just represent stuff that I want them to represent. That's the thing, when you build one of these, just use what works for you. It doesn't, it doesn't have to make sense to anybody else, but we've got the water corner, and I've got my Marlow Magic, his name, Magic, who I've traveled with since 2012. He's not the one that used to be in my necklace, he's a different one. And the Mother of Pearl bracelet that I can wear anytime I want to bring this energy of the altar with me. And a seashell. Okay, and my fire corner, there's of course some incense. This is frankincense. A lot of incense gives me headaches. I found that Nag Champa is usually safe and frankincense is usually safe. Um, the earth corner, I've got some crystals, some rose quartz, some amber, this little amber castle that was a gift. And it has some buggies in it. These are like thousands, millions of years old ants and stuff, which is fascinating. Um, in the air corner, I have a crystal pyramid because air represents thought to me and, and ideas and of course this feather of magical totem piece that one of my spirit sisters made for me. And the colors of universal support and helpful people are red and silver, hence the bottom. And then I have, just to decorate the altar, one of my magic mirrors and a ring that a friend gave me in New York at my very first um, my very first retreat workshop thing I ever did in New York City. This guy was there, this magical guy, and he gave me this thing. And I don't even, even, I can't, my mind can't think of your name, but if you're watching, thank you. I freaking love this thing. Moonstone. Like, I only wear it when I go out, and it really feels like armor. It feels like brass knuckles of chi, you know, like energetically. So thank you. Um, yeah, in the center is what you want to happen, and this is the card I pulled today. It is supported by love. And behind, what I want to experience or be after the transformation is complete is Lakshmi, who's one of my patron goddesses. I just love her. I learned so much from her. I have some goals for prosperity, and I have angel for guidance. And yeah, that's how this altar works. And the, there's a way you fire it up using your chi. You hold your left hand in front of your heart like this, and then your right hand you hold down in front, by the side of your body straight, and you lift it up with your inhale, moving the whole arm up. And then with your exhale, you compress a chi ball down over your other hand, which is floating in front of your heart. You do that three times, thinking of all the things that you want to bless the world with if you are used as you are most thriving. Um, and so, yeah. Oh, and one more piece is this thing, my um, amethyst on a, rib on a silver ribbon, which I just made today. So I'm charging it up right now to wear later. I don't know when. But um, anyways, when you do the three and you have this compressed chi ball, which you can imagine as a ball of light or energy or whatever, then you take it and dump it in the middle on this little tray where you put what... Um, the, the process, what you want to happen. So that's Vastu Shastra technique. And I just started using that from this book I got from the library called um, Altars of Power and Grace by Robin and Michael Mastro. It was in the library in Sedona, and I got it, and I was like, let me try this out. I like making altars anyway, so let me just try out this technology. And it works amazingly well. It's just, the Vastu Shastra is what feng shui came from. And so it's just understands the way that things flow and the directions and there's really no religion in my world that goes with it it's just technology in my understanding that's how I think of it all right hope you guys are doing great um I tried to go to town the driveway was too, too slippery thank goodness my neighbors were like Karis it's not gonna happen so I think I'm gonna catch you right there to get some groceries come back and hopefully I'll be able to drive in the next couple days I think I will I'm optimistic and if not Okay, that was a deal. <laughs> All right, much love. Mwah, mwah. Hope you have a beautiful reality. Uh, oh, by the way, before I sign off, this is an experimental design. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Should I make them like a small batch? I don't know. It's looped around my finger with a little plastic cord. It's a bracelet. What do you think? If you want them, I'll make them. If not, I won't. Okay, mwah, mwah. bye.